So this is the hole that the cam position sensor goes in. And that thing that you see in the middle is presumably the timing chain. And if I do this, pretty sure that's not meant to happen. Oh dear. So, this is going to be a short video. As you can see, timing chain is obviously gone, right? This engine is an interference engine. So there's a high possibility that when the chain went, piston was coming up, valve was coming down, possibly bent valves, possibly damaged pistons, right? So no way to know that unless you basically strip it down. I'm going to put my hands up and say, this is beyond me, right? So options are, send it away to a reputable garage that doesn't charge an absolute fortune to either strip it down or replace the engine. I think the cheapest I've seen for a replacement engine fitted is about $6,000. The car is worth, well, the truck is worth in a running condition, maybe about 10. Uh, it's worthless. It's only worth parts, the condition it's in at the moment. So options. I think I would rather have a, a replacement engine than a re just rebuilding what I've got. The costs are probably much the same with regards to labour. In fact, labour is probably cheaper if I just get a replacement engine, but you're paying more upfront for a better engine. Or Option three is just to scrap it. Luckily, I've paid this truck off, so it doesn't owe me anything. And it's done me well. And basically have to take out another loan for my next truck. Because I have to have a truck, let's face it. So, let me know what you think. Um, from what I've read, if the timing chain goes in these trucks, the engine's dead, okay? Or at least, damaged so what would you guys do let me know hey but at least i know i can stop lying in bed at night with my eyes wide open going oh i wonder if it's this oh i wonder if it's low oil i was really hopeful for that low oil thing by the way but nah unfortunately not but no i actually feel a bit better today so you know what i've shut the hood nothing i can do with the truck honestly nothing i can do so we need to talk finances and while while that's either sitting there or away, I'll get stuck back into Bogsy here. Well, thanks for all your help and advice. I tried most of the things. There's obviously no point trying a compression test if nothing's turning in there. So I know the chain's gone. I'm waffling. <sighs> right, back in Bugsy tomorrow. Thanks for watching everyone. See you later.